All right, I think I got my camera all set up and stuff. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't do anything with, like, the game footage, but here, I'm looking at you here, and then here's the TV a little bit. Um, yeah, dude, fuck, look at that. Oh, this is crazy. All right, so we're going to play on Nocturne Tutin, which is the very first map, except this is kind of rigged with Black Ops 1, but they remastered it and make, made it better, so it's fancier or something. Um, I'm going to drink some coffee. Because that's what you do when you're freaking just waking up and stuff. I love coffee, by the way. I couldn't live without it. All right. So, eh, yeah, that looks about, I don't know. I'm going to put this down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, our goal, basically, is to make it to round 18 or higher. Um, my actual record on World at War is 35 from what I remember. And we need to... Need to just we're just gonna chill we're Takio so maybe Takio's got some epic ninja skills that we could use to our advantage maybe he runs like a ninja I don't know but you want to get those long distance headshots ah yep you go Takio ah ooh so I guess I want to give you a little background information like how I got into zombies. It was back in well, I'm I'm just gonna say 2008 because that's where everybody started. Well, most people. If you're a if you're an actual zombie fan, you started in 2008. If not, then you're just a bro, I guess. I don't know. Um, but basically, what happened is I had these two friends that I live right next door to, and they're twins. They're redheaded twins. I know it couldn't get any worse. Um, fucking. So I guess we would. I don't know, I was hanging out with them in the garage, and then all of a sudden they're, like, talking about Nazi zombies. And they said it so fast I had no idea what they were saying, so I'm like, what's what's that? And they're like, oh, dude, it's like the scariest game ever, blah, 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 blah. We played it last night, and oh, my God, it's so fun. And I'm like, huh, can we go play it? And they're like, yeah, sure, we'll go play it. And they had a PlayStation 3 at the time, so I went down in the basement. <laughs> and, um, yeah, dude, we just fucking, we jumped on this map. And immediately, once I got, like, once we started the game, I knew exactly, like, what was going on. You kill the zombies, you make money, you buy this gun, and you survive as far as you can. Now, for, like, it was this was just one summer. This happened to be one summer. Um, I would ride my bike across town for, like, it was, like, a good half hour, 45 minute bike ride. I would ride my bike all the way across town just to play zombies with them. And we'd play split screen. we do all this shit. Um, actually, oh, we turned the music on. That's pretty cool. So actually, what our strategy was, like a typical one, is camping. So we'd open the help door, and then we'd camp up here. And I didn't know anything about glitches, and I thought they were gay anyway. But um, we would just camp up there, and we could actually run around a little bit with our ray guns and stuff. And normally, we'd get the ray gun and probably the MG the MG or the Brownie, I guess, I guess that was the ideal setup back then, was a MG and a ray gun. I think it still is, because you get a shit ton of ammo both ways. Oh, shit. Sorry, I was trying to aim. I don't know, and it felt funky. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Did you see that? I stabbed him, and he didn't... I didn't even hit him. Call of Duty logic. All right, so these guys are actually... This is only round three. Ooh, get off of me, zombies. Por favor. Don't you know who your master is? Oh, wait, I'm not Dr. Rick Tuffin. Um, So that was basically our old strategy, and I would go over to their day... Or go over to their house... What the fuck are you saying? I'd go over to their house every day just to play. And we would get really far. We would survive up to, like, round 15, 16, 17. My old record was actually 22 split screen. That is incredible because, yeah, like back then we didn't know what rape training was and stuff. Um, I actually didn't know what rape training was. Like I knew what it was before I even heard one of my friends say, hey, look up Syndicate. He's really cool. I think you'd really like him. And I've been watching him ever since, which was actually in high school. But All right, so prior to the popular demand, I think, I don't like opening that door, believe it or not. So this is why. If you open up these stairs this is another thing i realized like this is actually easier to get down from like you can 
you know how normally it's bad to just uh, go up narrow corridors or whatever? Like, that's a bad idea. That is really easy to um, go up and down. I don't know as far as going up, but it's a thing. Oh, this music is dope as fuck. Music! Um, and then having that door closed, somebody can actually run... This is good for, like, split screen even. Somebody can run a rape train in that room, and somebody can do a rape train here. Uh, except this room is a little sketchier, I think. I don't know. I think the other room's a little fast-paced. This one's... You got... This one takes work, though. So I'm just gonna... This is a really good gun, by the way, if you want to start... If you're just getting into the game... Um... Get the carbine. It's a really good gun. It'll help you until you want to get the box. And basically, all you want to do is just open these and then go for the box the whole way. And I'm pretty sure this is even what Syndicate did, but... Yay! Let's see what we get. And I just like to... Oh! What What do you know? That's, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. So, we're kind of already set. <laughs> that's crazy. That's why you do it randomly. I don't actually want that because it's really heavy. I don't like heavy guns. Actually... You know what? We can camp. We can camp our asses off. God, we gotta make it to round 17. Hmm. Ha. Huh. I'm curious. Alright, so I'm gonna keep buying the box until you get monkeys. That's really, like... That's probably the best thing you can do whenever you play online with other peeps. Is, uh, just go for monkeys. Or this. Because if you happen to get it first, then nobody else is gonna take it from you. Because there's only one wonder weapon in the box. Um, I do have some news for you guys. Unfortunately, today is my last uh, vacation day. Um, Daddy's at work. I don't normally call him Daddy, but I call him Daddy anyways. Uh, and then his girlfriend's actually at work too, so I'm all alone. Some just me and you, zombies. Um, uh, and you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. And I want to give a shout out to Aiden Hall. He's the winner. Of our PlayStation code because like I said I didn't want to make it oh okay it's out of my hundred subscribers you know uh oh this is creepy this is scary oh my god Ooh, yeah if I go quiet just understand that I'm trying to concentrate and I don't want to die we only got one life guys so this is this can be intense stuff but basically I didn't there's like 100 subscribers that I have, and I didn't want to just be like, okay, everybody has a 1% chance of winning or less than 1%. I kind of wanted to um, reward the people who actually watch me. So Aiden Hall happened to be one of those peeps, and he got the message in my video. So make like that's the whole reason why I won is because he was watching my video, and then in that video I told him uh, – Hey, this is what I'm going to do for the giveaway. This is all you have to do to increase your chances of winning. And boom, he got it. So PlayStation code is for you, Aiden Hall. I'll send you a message of what the code is because that's that's just the most convenient way to um, thank you guys is to give you a code instead of be like, oh, what's your PayPal? Send your money. I can just send the code to you and then you activate it and then you're like, oh, money. Sweet. They're pretty cool. And I don't know. It's probably from the uh, blinds why my face is so... White. All right. One second. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can change it a little bit. Is that better? Eh. It looks a little better, I think. Okay. We don't want that. Ooh, round six. I think World of War was easier to survive on because just the zombies were that glitchy, and they didn't really attack you when you're right next to them, like they do on this. Ooh, double points. I was never a point whore. Because I'll watch a lot of Syndicate videos and he'll just be like, oh, points, 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 points. I was never a point whore. Because if you think about it, I mean, I understand why he does it. Because he wants to get more stuff early on. But ultimately, when you're... Sur oh, shit. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Like, it's good to have a lot of points in the beginning, but ultimately, um, it comes down to later in the game. Like, you get, like, unlimited money, and you can just keep buying the box and stuff. Uh, so, I don't understand why he does that, but 
Oh, this is a good gun. I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep shackling this. We got music over here, right? Yeah. RPK. That's a fucking. Oh, that's tough. I don't know if I want that. You gotta sacrifice awesomeness for mobility, you know. All right. So if I remember correctly, the rape train that you want to do for this is try to either go here or around here, and then circle back, and then just try. It's like a figure eight. You just want to keep doing that. <clears throat> but I'm just going to keep trying to kill him as much as I can. I don't know why headshot didn't kill him there. Oh, my lord. I I'm happy to have the thunder gun, but I really want monkeys. That's what we want. All right, so this is a really good... Uh, I'm just going to throw a zombie tip out there. Whenever you see a max ammo... Instead of being like, oh, everybody reload, reload your, your faces and, you know, um, this is actually a better idea is be like, okay, max ammo, throw your monkeys or something. And then what you do, I waited too long there, but what you do is you shoot up all your ammo and then you get it. Cause then that really maximizes your ammo out. You see what I did? I see what I did there. So just keep that in mind. Just be like max ammo. Don't reload. Instead throw your monkeys so that way you can safely shoot the zombies um and get more kills before it maximize it, max, it maximizes your ammo out and i mean if you don't understand what i'm saying then stop playing zombies i'm, I'm kidding but i just want to really help you guys out like i have so many tips for you you don't understand and actually the aug is really good but eh, commando's good too Oh, I remember just kicking so much ass on Black Ops 1 multiplayer. It's not even funny. Alright, so we're on round 8? This is going very, like... This doesn't feel like round 8. This feels like round 12. It feels really difficult right now. It's so scary because you don't have any perks. Oh, my lord. No monkeys for us. Okay. Normally I don't have a problem. Yeah, let's camp back there, honestly, because there are no more zombies coming, really. Josh, I'm good. Not us. Good All right, it's good. It's good. It's good. Good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Buy it. Ah! Oh yeah. Oh, my God. That would be my favorite gun right now if they're a pack-a-punch. But no. Whoop. So this is what you want to do. Just circle back. And then normally... Holy shit. Normally you can make it by there pretty decently, but... I don't know. That was pretty scary. Um, and whenever you're in doubt, like whenever you think you're going to go down, bring out your best gun, like the Thunder Gun, and just shoot it. Whenever you feel unsafe, just shoot it. That's all you need to do to stay alive. Because you have 12 rounds, and if you just go down immediately like that, you're fucking just... That's sad. It's just, you know, you know what I mean. Like, you're, you're disappointed in yourself. You're like, oh, my God. I had all this ammo. I could have used it. And then I sucked a... Sucked a sucker. Yeah. Now, I don't get it. Do I normally... I don't remember exactly what my strategy was. But I think it's because it's Black Ops that it's a little different. Just the way the zombies attack your face. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We got the bunker bombs. Oh, actually, I kind of want the ray gun. Let's go for the ray gun. Okay, once we get the ray gun, then we'll be set. But we got monkeys, so that makes me that much happier. Makes me happy turds, you know. Turd bird. <laughs> That's the word. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm so happy right now. I'm such in a good mood. This is good. This is good shit. Suck my dick, zombies! Get on the flow! You know, I really love listening to fucking, like, some good music while I'm playing zombies, like, um, Drowning Pool. Let the bodies hit the flow. Or even, uh, even, like, Rap God from Eminem's, like, I brought my raid gun from the future just to shoot ya. I might do, I might have to do, like, a compilation of that or something. Zombie compilation of the Rap God. Because I'm beginning to feel like a zombie god. A zombie god. 
What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, okay. So I'm gonna keep buying the box. And the good thing about this room is that you always have the Thompson. I think I even had the double barrel when I made it that far. But you always have the Thompson to um, kill the zombies with. So, and it's a really good gun. You might think, oh, it's just a Thompson, but no, it's actually a lot better than you think. So, you should get to Thompson. If if you run out of ammo and you need, uh, like, you have a small amount of money, or you just need a gun. It's better than the bar. It's, it's better than this is like the it's probably the best gun in this map. Uh, but don't be afraid to try out the double barrel too, because it's like it's one shot for a while until you get the ray gun. Then that's probably when yeah. See these guys want to like rape your tacos. I felt that coming. Oh, see this is a like like I said this is so much sketchier. Yeah, okay, you want to hit that, you want to hit that pole as soon as you can, because then it gives you room to run around on this other side. Wow! I don't know, dude, round 17. That's pretty far. Oh my god, and these zombies are like, mmm, I don't like this. Oh my god. These zombies are like, they're so different than World at War zombies, you have no idea. On World at War, this would be so much easier for some reason. I don't know. Round 11. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to remember what exactly Syndicate did. I think he got like an MG and he actually ran a, like actually camped here. Um, I don't know. We do have monkeys though, so that makes me feel better. Oh, he got a lot of power-ups. That's what happened. He got so many power-ups right when he needed them. Oh! Oh! See, this is what I mean. You just buy this gun. And then rape their faces. Rape their faces with the bullets. God damn, it's so sc I can't ever make that. Oh! <laughs> you just go like Michael Jackson. Like, oh! Grab your junk. Yeah, this is not too shabby. Not too shabby. Oh, lordy! Oh, my lord! <laughs> you have no idea how scary it is. <laughs> These zombies, just two hits and you go down. It's incredibly, like, scary. This is where zombies started, though. This is where, like, the scare actually was in the game a little bit. Which made it that much better. Um... I kind of want to make a crawler, but I also want to speed up the game a little bit. Oh, shit. He's still running. Fucker. Die! All right. All right. You know, I might take it. I'll take it. Because I kind of want the ray gun as soon as we can, because that will save us a lot of trouble. Believe it or not, the ray gun is the way to go. Oh, my God. We only have seven rounds. Fuck. We have seven rounds. Like, I mean, ammunition-wise, not... Oh my god, I'm so scary. I'm scary, Gary. I don't know what that means. I should be saying I'm scared. But... Die, zombie! This is not your host. I'm uh, my host. Oh yeah, this gun is amazing, actually. That's what I need. I'm gonna throw a monkey, though. Go, monkey, go! Go, Joe, Joe, Joe! Powerpuff Girls. Those guys are honestly a little... I'm going to loop around back here. Ah! Don't hit me! See, and you loop around that thing, then it gives you that much room to run. Like, that's so nice. It's so beautiful! Oh, Lord! There are being zombies here. Die! Bitches! Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a max ammo. All right, so another thing you need to keep in mind, whenever you have a thunder gun and there's a max ammo, make sure you reload it. Like, you actually shoot it. Uh, I kind of want to FAMAS, because that's actually really... It's actually a really good gun. But I guess the RPK is doing it for us. Throw it at the last second. But ah! Yeah. And then throw the granadas. Granada tacos. Taco grenades. <laughs> That <laughs> would be so awesome. They, like, threw confetti everywhere. And it tastes like natural taco burrito supremos, yeah? 
Nacho Taco Burrito Supremo. Oh, Lord. I ran out of sprint right there. That fucking scared the shitless, shitless out of me. Yeah, okay, that's another thing is you need to conserve your sprint. Conserve it. Make it good. Live life how you should. Oh, my God. This is actually really sketchy. Ah! Fuck. Fuck you, zombies. Fuck your tacos and your chalupas and whatever you guys eat. I don't know what you guys eat. Testicles? Do you guys like testicles? Do you want to chop my balls off? Ooh, that RPK, though. Oh, Lord. I don't know what's going on right now. What am I doing? Where am I going? You know, this gun has actually failed me a few times. In which case, like, when you shoot it, it doesn't even do anything in the zombies and you just die. I'm hoping that does not happen. We're on round 13. This is actually really good. This is, this is, uh... If we can make it to 15, I'll be happy. But I'll be even happier if we beat the record. I think we can do it. And hopefully, the footage is good right now. Why is that? God, that scares the shit out of me. You can hear a zombie right there. What is that? Aw. No, we don't want that. We got plenty of ammo for the Thunder Gun, just in case something bad happens. So, yeah. Here we got monkeys. Monkeys are good. Monkeys are life. Let the monkey bomb slide here. Well, cries no, we won't tremble much. We're strapped with an arsenal of guns and assemble pack a punch. We will strategize to reach max rounds and dominate zombies like when the city kit project made history in 115. So if you haven't, there's like this, the, there are these two zombie videos that I love so much. And if you haven't heard them, you really need to, oh, see, that's what you do. You go, so if you can't make that loop, you can always um, bring it back around towards the stairs sometimes. And you might get lucky, but not that time. This is what makes it so much easier is you actually have the thunder gun to save you. And it's actually heavier than you think. Like, you can't run very fast with this. Like, the zombies are still super fast. Oh, my lord. Don't ever, like, aim down sight and shoot a zombie too much. Ah! Oh, my god. I thought for sure we were dead that time. Oh, lord. Oh, my lord. See, this is what I mean. This is what you want to do here. Teaching you guys how to rape train a little bit. Just a tiddly bit. I need to reload this. Fuck. Oh, my God. I need to reload. <laughs> oh, reload the gun, you fucker. All right. By the time they come around, I'm good. All right. Sweet. Um, Let's see. What was I saying? Oh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to try until we get the ray gun, and then we'll get mule kick. I think that's in our best interest because we don't want mule kick too soon. Oh, shit. What is it? Instant death. Fuck, I really want it because I'm going to get it just for next round. So it helps us with next round. See, look at all those drops. I know what Syndicate just said. I know what to talk about. All right, so I think we're actually going to get the nuke first. Oh, shit. Maybe we'll get both. I'll just get insta-kill. And I'll get the nuke before it disappears. Speed up the round a little bit. I'll just get it right now. Fuck it. All right, cool. So give us the ray gun. Oh my god, we're actually really close to his record. Fuck. Yes. This is some sketchy shit, though, guys. You have no idea. Um, honestly, I kind of want to go get mule kick because I have monkeys. Um, the ray gun is amazing too. All right, so the reason why the ray gun is good because it takes out so many. Like, you, this is where the this is when the ray gun was good. Okay. Right now, like, when you're, whenever you're surviving high rounds, at least, it's actually kind of pointless to get. And that's because more times often than none, you actually kill yourself with the ray gun. Oh, actually, <laughs> I wasn't ready for... Wow, this gun is actually so OP. Woo! Those crawlers, though. I 
I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Is this it? Oh, my lord. I didn't know that was... Alright, so we're going to get Mule Kick, and I think we'll get the Thompson until we actually find a decent gun like the RPK or something. But we'll have Mule Kick, so that'll be good. I don't know if this will actually kill me. We'll find out, I guess. Alright, so we just need to survive this round, and then we'll at least be, like, kind of tied with him, sort of. We got Mule Kick, right? So we can buy this. Yeah. Now, I don't know exactly what else to do with your money other than just try to make a shit ton of it for no reason. Because money looks good. Money, it makes you high balling. Oh, shit. Ah! Um, <laughs> you guys... Whoa, what the fuck? My game just literally skipped. That was scary. Saw how you saw how I was facing like the radio, and then all of a sudden it uh Jesus, and then it turned me around randomly. All right, so I'm doing something completely wrong that I just realized. What you want to do is actually get the rape train together. That way, whenever you're running around like this all the time, um. You have all the zombies together, so none of them are really, like, respawning on you. So, basically, you just want to save these up. You want to save these zombies, get them ready. Just like so. That way they stop spawning and they don't get in your way. And then you can maneuver them however you want to. So, um, one quick thing is, like, I would typically... I think you want to limit yourself to using like so many bullets at one time that way killing um as few zombies as you can but also progressing so i'm gonna go with five bullets right now okay nobody nobody died there so i'm gonna go with another five i'm gonna do 10 at a time okay we got a couple kills there so you'll see a like a zombie or two spawn in, in a second and you just want like a good um like zombie shit you just want a good uh fucking spawn rate you want a good spawn rate like manageable that way you, like when you see them you don't freak out it doesn't have to be exactly 10 bullets but you know half a clip we could even go full clip but yeah full clip might work too oh sweet what's that carpenter Nothing good. Is this it? Is this everybody? Gather around, children. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought it was going to kill them all. Yeah. Okay, dude. So we survived round 17. Oh, it's so good. And if I just get the commando, then I'll just spin the box every round. If I get a good gun, then I'll use it. But the Thompson you're fine enough with all right so we just need to beat this round and we'll actually beat syndicate syndicates like recorded round let's say that because the reason why he did the map was because he failed on a, a previous video and he's been kind of like preparing for uh, black ops 3 zombies because we don't know what to expect honestly they could make it so similar to black ops 2 they can make it so similar to traditional zombies just for fuck's sake um we don't know what to expect honestly or at least I don't. But I'll be uh, I'll be getting Black Ops 3 for my PlayStation 4, so you should expect some footage from me. Okay, good. I I so hope this fucking thunder gun does not fuck me over. Oh my lord. Okay, so it goes Thompson, Thunder Gun, Ray Gun. It's also good to keep an Oh no! Fuck, how many kills did we get? How many kills did we get? Shit. I want to see, I want to see, like, I, 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 I took a picture of how far he made it. Oh! Oh, guys! Oh, my lord! Woo! Okay. So, that was a good run. We could have gotten further. I just decided, God, I thought maybe I could, like, run around him, but that's just what happens, I guess. Um, so... In this, I'll probably, like, put the, uh, where can I put this picture? But, basically, we had 20 more kills than him. 
We had 20 more kills. Um, how many points did we get, though? I'm curious how many points we got. Uh, let's see. Ooh, he beat us by points, but we beat him by kills. And um, normally, whenever you play online and you make a record, um, the, the highest person is actually by kills. So I'm going to say we won on that one. But, you know, we never know. He might make another video or whatever. But now we can proudly say we beat the Syndicate. Syndicate swag! Um, I just... The only reason why I'm making this video is because I want to uh, prove myself to the zombie community. So if you want to share this, let me know. And it would be fucking awesome if I could just get in the game with them and we could just survive, like, fucking however long or whatever. But I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And, um, what was it? Aiden Hall? Thank you very much. You won yourself a PlayStation code. And, uh, like I said, you'll get it in the, um, in a, in a message or whatever. So message me, bro. I love you guys' faces and adios.